Hey guys, welcome back to the episode of Cracking Packs with Josh. We're on tonight's episode. I'm gonna be taking out some Kamigawa. We're gonna um oh, oh yeah, of course. Forgot to change out the light. Of course. <laughs> oh man. Every time I change out the batteries on this, I think I think this will be the time, but I think my light's just dying. Yeah. It's not even showing up. <laughs> anyway. But yeah, so we're going to be checking out Kamigawa, Neon, Neon Dynasty. Um, I would have thought that they would have like done different artworks for the packs, instead of just having the same dude on the front. But anyway, yeah. <laughs> um, before we get started, just wanted to say thank you guys for watching. Uh, it still means a lot. And I still look forward to doing this every week. Um... I was a fool. I totally thought that we were going to be doing Pokemon today, and I looked back on my channel and I was like, oh yeah, no, it's it's magic this week. So, <laughs> what better time to check out these uh these new this new set? Um, actually, before we start, let me show you what we're looking for, real quick. So right over here, um, we got this legendary land at twenty eight dollars. Damn, okay. And then we got Jin Jin Gitaxius, uh Phyrexian dude, seventeen bucks, Wandering Emptor fifteen. Um Saga for thirteen. Uh oh it's the dude. Yeah, Kaito Shizuki. And we got Tezzeret. And we got a couple of other ones. <laughs> but yeah. So this is gonna be our first crack at um at some Kamigawa, Neon Dynasty. And, uh, yeah, let's see what we get. <laughs> um, but yeah, I hope you guys had a good day. And, uh, if not, uh, I hope your day gets better. So, yeah, let's check out these cards. So, we got Shrine Steward. Okay. Um, oh, I see what it is. Okay, interesting. Okay, can dig it. Golden Tail Disciple, Fox Monk. Okay, sure. Interesting. Okay, Kami's Flare. Cool, looking cool. Clawing Torment, uh, Nightmare. Okay, Geothermal Kami. Um, okay, sure. Futurist Sentinel, Wanderer's Intervention, Interse in Intercessors. Arrest? Weird. Okay. Um, Coiling Stalker? Sure. Okiha Reckoner Raid? Weird. Okay. Mech Hanger? Oh, okay. Ooh, nice. Okay, yeah, see, because I want to make a vehicle deck. Or at least, um, by the, uh, the pre-con that has it. Uh, Jukai Naturalist? Sure. And then Covert Technician, freaking Ninja. Uh, ooh! Holy shit, okay, hold up. This is a, this is a variant. Hold up, hold the phone. <laughs> um. Uh, hold up, sorry, sorry. Neon Dynasty Variants. Um, who is this? Invoke Justice. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Okay, it's nothing big. It's like, it's like three bucks. Okay, I can dig it. <laughs> but nice, good shit. Okay. Um, here, let's try reading this. So it's a five drop. One and four white. Return target permanent card from your graveyard to the battlefield, then distribute four 1-1 one -one counters among any number of creatures and or vehicles target player controls. Goddamn! That's good! That's some real good stuff there. Holy shit. <laughs> and then we gotta land Dismal Backwater. Oh, that's cool! It's got one of those cool bridges! Hell yeah! Um, I know there's one of those at, uh, at Golden Gate Park in the city. Um... I want to say it's, like, near the Botanical Garden. I might be wrong about that. <laughs> it's been a while since I've been up there. 
Um, but yeah, like I said, hope you guys are having a good day, and if not, I hope it gets better. Um, my day was pretty chill. Um, didn't really do much. Uh, woke up, went out and did some shopping. <laughs> Came back, ate some food, took a nap. <laughs> you know how it be. Um, malicious malfunction. Okay. Go Shintai of shared purpose. Ooh, okay. New shrines. All right, I can dig it. A uh, banishing slash, cool. And then Reckoner Bankbuster, dude. Some like fucking like tech vehicle thing. What the hell is that? Okay. Um, two drop four four vehicle and just battlefield with three charge counters on it. Two tap, remove a charge counter, draw a card. Then if there are no charge counters on it, create a treasure token and a one one colorless pilot token. With this creature, cruise vehicles as though its power were too greater. Goddamn. And then, crew three. Damn, okay. That's sick. So you can make your own pilots that make the vehicles easier to crew. That's some good shit. And then, ooh, look at that. That's a mountain. Aw, oh, dude, look at that land. Aw, oh, that's sick. Ooh, I might get more of these just for more lands like this. Look at that shit. Damn. Imagine that shit foil. Hell yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, I did a little shopping. Um, I went to my local game store, which I haven't been to in a little bit. <laughs> um, granted, I have just been being lazy. And I tried to buy the cards from, uh... Oh, look at that ninja. Moon, sh Moon snare specialist? Okay. Um, but yeah, norm normally I usually just get my shit from, like, Target or something. <laughs> and I'm trying to be better about that. It's a turtle. It's a colossal sky turtle. <laughs> Damn, that's a big turtle. <laughs> okay, a generous visitor. Cool. And then March of Otherworldly Light. Okay, shit. So it's an X and a white. It's an instant. At an additional cost to cast this spell, you can exile any number of white cards from your hand. The spell costs two less to cast for each card exiled this way. And it's exile target artifact, creature, or enchantment with mana value X or less. Goddamn! Dude, that is some fucking removal. Sheesh, okay. Oh, wait, is this a foil? Ooh, sick. Mukurai Ambusher. Um, three and a black... 3-2 Rat Ninja with Lifelink and Ninjutsu, one in the black. Okay, that's cool. I can dig that. I like the art and the foil on that looks hella sick. Look at that. Yeah, so you can see the dude's little, like, rat ears. That's sick. And then, oh, look at that. Look at the planes. Yo, that is some beautiful fucking artwork. Dude, I might get the, um... I might have to get the collector's boosters for this one. Just to see if we can't get any of those shiny lands. <laughs> um, speaking of uh, collector's boosters, I've been sitting on a box of uh, a collector's boosters uh, Kaldheim for like the longest time. And it's like every time I think I get a chance to, uh, to make a new video on it, like... <laughs> There's a new magic set that comes out, and so I'm like, all right, we'll we'll, we'll put it off. And so I've been putting that off for the about the, the last year. <laughs> so uh, so yeah, we'll see whenever that comes about. Ooh, okay, we got a we got a saga. So the restoration of I Janjo, I I Ganjo, is it Ganjo or Janjo? Anyway. So one, search your library for planes, reveal it, put it in your hand, then shuffle. Uh, two, you may discard a card. When you do, return target permanent card with value two or less from your graveyard to the battlefield tapped. Damn. And then three, exile this saga, then return it to the battlefield transformed under your control. What does it transform into? Ooh, Architect of Restoration. A uh, Fox Monk. Okay. Uh, three, four with Vigilance. Whenever Architect or Restoration attacks or blocks, create a 1-1 one, one color Spirit Creature token. Ooh, that'll be good for the Spirit deck. Oh man, that's so cool. Hell yeah. 
they recently just built a spirit deck, so, uh, hell yeah. <laughs> and then we got a land, and then we got a construct. Cool. Okay, we got four packs left. <laughs> uh, nothing too big this episode. Um, hopefully next time, uh, we do more of this set, it'll be the, uh, the collector's boosters. <laughs> but that's gonna have to be next paycheck, because... Uh, your boy is trying to save up after all this spending that I did today. <laughs> um, also because I will be, uh, taking some time off of work coming up. And, uh, yeah, I'm gonna need to be a little more, uh, conscientious about my money. <laughs> um, so we got March of Wretched Sorrow. Ooh, okay, so we got the other March, the white one, right? Of Otherworldly Light? Okay, so this one's an X and a black. Um, additional cost to cast a spell. Exile any number of black cards from your hand. The spell costs two less to cast for each card exiled this way. And it has uh, March of Wretched Sorrow. Deals X damage to target creature or permanent, and you gain X life. Ooh, okay, that's nice. Just simple, like, just deal out damage. And then you get a... Ooh, damn. Oh, shit. Okay. Dude, it's um it's the bank buster again. But foil, yo, hell yeah. Good shit. We we just got this vehicle earlier. So I'm not gonna read it again. <laughs> Good shit. Um Blood Fell Caves, cool. And then we got uh Samurai, cool. Can dig it. <laughs> but yeah, so it's interesting that this is the first time they've been back to Kamigawa in like um Crap, I want to say it was like 15 or 16 years, something like that. Which is funny because like, um, it was, wasn't, it was a little, uh, shortly after that, that like me and my friends got into magic. So I remember, um, buying a couple of the Kamigawa cards because they had some really good, uh, spirits and I built a really nice spirit deck out of them. Um, and yeah, um, Enthusiast M Mechanaut? Goblin Artificer. Ooh, okay. Cool. Um, ooh. Reinforced Ronin. Dude, look at that art. Dude, hell yeah. Good shit. Flame Discharge, sure. And we got Mind Link Mech. Ooh, okay. Dude, I'm getting hella good cards for, um, <laughs> for that pre-con that I want to buy. Um, so it's two in blue. Uh, four three with flying. Um, whenever it becomes crude for the first time each turn until end of turn, it becomes a copy of target non-legendary creature. That's wait, 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 wait. Until end of turn, mind link mech becomes a copy of target non-legendary creature that crude it this turn. Except it's four three. It's a vehicle artifact. In addition to its other types, and it has flying with crew one. Dude, goddamn. So wait, you can pretty much just crew this, you could attach any creature to crew this, because it's crew one, right? And then this becomes a copy of it, except it's still a 4-3? Hmm, interesting. Maybe if it has like a, um, like an attack, um, trigger or some shit like that? But that's interesting. Huh trying to think about like how to use that properly anyway so we got tranquil quote cove <laughs> and um we got an arena card <laughs> um yeah i don't know the last time i played um arena really hard was um back when um oh god what was it like zendikar rising what was it yeah, it was like Zendikar, and it was like right before uh, Kaldheim came out. <laughs> so yeah, I haven't been on Arena recently. Um, it's been a while, I don't know if anything's new, you know what I mean? <laughs> um, I kind of don't want to go back just because I know I have to update all of my fucking decks, right? <laughs> um, so we got Hidetsugu Devouring Chaos. I'm... Really glad that I got that name right on the first try. <laughs> so three in the black, uh, four four, uh, pay a black and sacrifice a creature. Scry two, 
And then two and a red and tat. Exile top card of your library. You can play that card or play that card this turn. When you exile a non-land card this way, um, he deals dam damage equal to the exiled card's mana value to any target. Ooh, okay. That's sick. Good shit. And then we got Roaring Earth, Foil, Cool. Look at the fucking bear. <laughs> sick. Hell yeah. All right. And then we got a regular land. Like, dude, even these le regular lands look hella cool. Look at that shit. Yo. Okay. And then we got a token. Okay. <laughs> All right. On to the last pack. Um, no mythics yet. <laughs> Let's hope that this last one gets us gets us a mythic. <laughs> um, but yeah, seems like a cool set so far. I'd be really interested in uh, checking out more of this. Um, also, just because I don't think the next Magic set is coming out for a little bit, so I think we're gonna be doing another one of these. Speaking of another one, we got another <laughs> March of Wretched Sorrow. <laughs> Goddamn. Okay, sure. <laughs> Uh, Scoured Barons, and ooh, look at that spirit token. Dude, that's spooky. Hell yeah. All right. Okay, good shit, good shit. Um, let's go over what we got real quick. So we got March of Wretched Sorrow. We got Hidetsugu Devouring Chaos. Again, really proud that I got that name right. Uh, we got Mindlink Mech. We got... A uh, Reckoner Bankbuster. We got another March of Wretched Sorrow. <laughs> we got the Restoration of Igonjo. We got the March of Otherworldly Light. We got the other Bankbuster that wasn't foil. <laughs> and then we got <clears throat> we got Invoke Justice. Cool. Um, yeah, so far so good. Um, I really want to check out more of this set. And I also want to buy the uh, the precon, uh, the vehicle precon, the white blue vehicle precon. Um, it looks good. Wasn't able to find it anywhere. Um, not even at my game store. <laughs> so yeah, we'll see how that goes. Um, but yeah, thank you guys for watching. Um, leave a like if you liked it. Subscribe for more. And uh, yeah, um, I'll see you guys next week. Um, bye. I love you. And uh, yeah, stay safe. <laughs>